Yo, what is up? How is everyone doing? My name is Ice Grenade and welcome to another tutorial. This is how to use the entity list. And the entity list is something, well, something you're gonna wanna use quite a lot because you have a lot of reasons to use it. One is to get to things quickly. One is to update multiple things at once. And there's a whole load of other things. So yeah, let's do this. Let's go show you what I am talking about. Right, so if you go right click at the top of your screen and you go to entity list, and let's just say I was working on an effect yesterday and I can't remember where in the map it is or maybe it's like really far away in the map so it would take 20 seconds to fly there but it would only take a couple seconds to get there via the entity list. So you just, yeah, you'd open up the entity list, you go to the effects and you can actually scroll down and then you can pick these ones here. If we go to the water drip point, I know that that one is the one on the pipe in the fire trap area. And yeah, that's how you can quickly get there. What I did was I checked this item and then I pressed F4 and that actually fast travels you there. And the next thing is you can, you can select multiple things. Let's just say that we had a barrel fire. So if we go over here to this, which is a smoke effect that is playing there for a barrel fire. And we'll say, okay, also we got one here as well. And say that we just want to update all these fires. For some reason, you know, I don't think it looks good as yellow and we want to do them as red. Well, when you've made a red effects, you can just select all of these smoke effects that are the same. And then you can press N November, go to the entity info, and you can just type in the effects identifier here or go search for the file in the effects folder and apply it. And that way you can update multiple things at once. It doesn't just work for effects, it works for everything in the entity list. So if we go back to the entity list and let's just say that we have this chair and you can see which ones they are because if we drag out this entity list, on the right hand side, we have a preview of the KVPs. So if we flick down these, you can just quickly use the arrow keys to go down and see what models we have here. So in this case, we only have one dynamic chair office black. And using this entity list just allows you to check things. Say you accidentally copied a spawner, you can quickly go in here and have a look at these structs and run through them and just look at these values and just see what they look like. So the next thing is one of the most amazing things for this entity list is the substring value search. If you go here into the entity list and you go to the top where it says options and if you go down make sure you have the substring search value checked. If you don't have this checked it won't work but once you have it checked you can search for anything and it'll pop all up. So in this case we saw this office chair here and this office chair had the name P7 chair office black. So if we type in P7 chevin if we type in P7 chair and let's just say we want to select all of those ones in the map we can go back to the entity list and using the substring search value which you're going to want to check here otherwise it won't work. We can type that in and check them find them all in one go. Here we go, we'll find that we have one dynamic model of the office chair and we have one normal MISC model of that office chair. So say we wanted to update them all to a different model, you can actually select multiple of them. You can press N and you can change the model and let's just change it to this wooden chair. Boom, we now have a wooden chair and a MISC wooden chair as well. But of course, this is just a tutorial, so I'm gonna undo those changes. And let's go back to the entity list. I'm gonna show you another example of this. Let's just say you wanna select all of your dog spawners and you wanna update them to change the color of it. Well, if we go and type in dog location, you'll see that now the only thing showing here is all the dog spawners. And we got a little preview on the right here. So you can flick through these and let's just say you wanna update them all so that they show as a different color. You can click the top one, then we can hold shift and click on the bottom one and then right click and do select highlighted entities. This will select every single dog spawner on the map. If I press F4 to fast travel, you'll see that it shows the map from a giant angle because there are dog spawners all over the map. But if we press N for November and we go over, you'll see that I've set the color to blue and you can set this color to whatever color you like. Click the three little dots on the side here and you can set this to, to anything. Let's just set it to green and then we'll go back to the entity list. Let's deselect them all and I'll just show you an example of one of them. If you look at this one, you can easily tell that that is now the dog spawner and that is the riser. And if we look around, here we go, you know, that's dog, dog, riser, riser. 
and you can set up the colors to whatever you like just to improve how you visually see your map and it just overall helps basically so in time also you'll find that you'll be using this a lot more so say that i put some wine somewhere but i forgot where it is we can just type in wine and we can go over here and we can find okay this is a broken wine bottle that is not the one i wanted let's go over here we've got script models let's click on here and press f4 boom there we go we have found the wine that only took a couple seconds could have taken 20 something minutes looking around your map if your map is as big as mine then yeah <laughs> you would have wasted so much time looking for something uh, let's just say you want to check the teleporters that you've made or you want to know how many teleporters you've made you can type in teleporter and what it's going to do is it will link everything in the map which in this case is a name of a model that i created for part of the teleporter so we can see straight away that will bring us to the teleporter but the other thing we want to do is we want to just jump straight to the zombies teleport trigger you can type in the name of any of the kvps and we'll see here now that we've got two kvps this will show you both triggers for the zombie teleporter so we've got one here inside and if we go to the other one press f4 it's taken us straight to the other teleporter where zombies teleport so this is just a really quick way to get around your map a quick way to update everything one word of caution is do not go and delete anything that you don't know what it is make sure that if you are changing anything here you have a good understanding of what you're changing so prime example of something bad to do is to end up deleting these actors don't touch those other than that it's a great tool to use and i don't know where i'd be without it it saves me a heck ton of time so i hope this tutorial has helped you out other than that don't forget to like this video and uh yeah catch you guys on the next one see you later guys stab not dab see ya